Start it off. The last we saw Erin Monroe, she went toe to toe with Mercedes Martinez and she almost won. <laughs> okay. Now these two already have the hardest task ahead of them if they want to win this thing. Oh yeah, being the first two out of 30 women, that's a long time you gotta last. Whoa. And they're going right at it. You know, they're not. Not only are they not wasting time, they're not saving their energy. I don't know if this is the right strategy, but it's great to see this kind of enthusiasm. They are not taking it slow at all. I mean, if you think about it, if they eliminate the other one, they get, how, get however many seconds to rest yeah. before the next person comes in. Trips are up there. Whoa, what an uppercut. Rolled right through. Oh, big swole. Oh. Those big shots. Right to the back of Miranda Alizé. Like the drink. Picking her up by the ears here. And again, all of this is impressive, but the key here is elimination. You need to eliminate everyone in the ring. And we have the countdown going. Who's it going to be? What? Oh my gosh, that's Charlie Morgan from England. Oh, hey, Rob Hambridge. Charlie Morgan, trained by Sweet Soraya, former Shimmer champion. Oh, Charlie Morgan has never been. This is her North American debut. Right, this is a completely unexpected entrance to this. Charlie Morgan, the ace of EVE, she is a former EVE champion. She is one of the hottest prospects in the UK, now making, trying to make her mark on the rest of the world. And she just made the first elimination. Exactly. Miranda Alizé. Like this, is, this is exciting, I think. And I don't know what it means for Rise. Oh, the crowd knows exactly, exactly. who she is. Exactly. Now, there's some performers that... You, know, you see, you see gifts of them on the internet. You watch their matches, and you really want to see them live. But someone like Charlie Morgan, she never left the UK yet. This is literally the first opportunity to see her in the United States, and it's a complete surprise. This is absolutely the place to be right now. Beta. Yeah. So, so basically, the, the moral of the story is: come to Rise shows, buy the eye pay per views because you're gonna get something like this. You literally no, never know who's gonna show up. But Big Swell is introducing her to Rise right now. with us I, I, she she's fine guys she's just she's just somewhere else oh right yeah now. she's not dead she's, she's not okay dead. she's fine she's great Ray Lynn though 
man, every time we see her, she's more and more impressive. But I think this is the outing I've been most interested in because she's just returned from a three-month tour of Japan with Marvelous. She was training every single day, and you can see it already. She looks great. Oh, yeah, Absolutely Raylan so aggressive. Great. Yeah. Big Ooh. Swell thought she was going to take a break in the corner there, but uh, Raylan peeped that out real quick. Oh. And, you know, we saw a taste of it uh, at Early to Rise today when Ray Lynn was in the ring. I didn't know that she was going to be in this Rise of Contender match as well. Double duty for Ray Lynn. What an uppercut by Charlie Morgan. How about, so, so talking about someone like Charlie Morgan, we didn't expect to even be in this, to even be in Berwyn this weekend. Let's say she comes in here, she enters at number three, she wins the whole thing. Pretty much she's got a, she's got a spot in Rise, I would imagine. Oh, and absolutely. Like just, She's already going for her second elimination here. Oh, Raylan holding on. Oh, huge DDT. Just spiked her. for old Veda is Sophie King. Yeah, Sophie King from today's seminar. Oh, wow. So you're telling me that she, she earned this spot just from, from her work today. Absolutely. Wow. She's only been in the business for about a year, and she's already in this prize battle royal. Oh, 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 oh. And Charlie Morgan looks like, oh. First I thought she was going to try to save her. Maybe she wanted to use her. Sophie King eliminated here, but you know what? That says a lot about her and her work ethic, that she was able to impress enough with just one day to be entered into this, this Rise of Contender Battle Royale. Absolutely. I wanted to see more from Sophie King. Okay, Ray Lynn is trying to... Maybe she's looking for a new tag partner here. Ray Lynn doesn't want to be the lone bone anymore. Oh. But that didn't work out too well. Charlie Morgan is on a hot streak right now. Okay, so we do not have Bones of Contention part the second. Goodbye, Raylan. Nice effort. We saw her earlier. Ah, uh, ew. We saw her do basically the same stuff to Session Moth Martina earlier on Early to Rise, where she beat Session Moth Martina. Charlie Morgan watching this go down. It's hard to figure out how to approach someone like Priscilla Kelly because, you know, we've seen just all the, the, the gross out theatrics, but at the same time, she's a very competent, very capable wrestler and striker. She's dangerous on both just a psychological level and a physical level. Absolutely, and you don't know exactly what she's going to do because she loves to play dirty. We've seen both. We've seen both just today. Just today alone. And I'm sure it won't stop there. Charlie Morgan trying to work Priscilla to the outside. Priscilla just grabbing onto the ropes any way she can. Oh! Big elbow to free herself. Priscilla back in the ring, safe for now. Ariel Monroe getting a tiny bit of a breather here. She probably needs it. Choking her in the corner. Okay, here's another unexpected entrance into this Rise of the Contender Battle Royal. And Harlow is taking her time. That's what I'm talking about. Right, why, why hurry? Exactly. There's no rush. Especially when you have on a beautiful headpiece. You don't want to damage that. Here comes Priscilla Kelly. Whoa! Whoa! Right across oh, no. the face! I don't want any of that. Harlow is fired up! She is taking all these women to the
the Church of Harlow right now. Harlow considers herself a religious icon. And I don't think that's going to uh, go too well with Priscilla Kelly. No, and I think, I think it, as you've kind of alluded to here, if we're looking at two personalities that are going to be both the most similar but also have the most possibility to clash, it's going to be Priscilla and Harlow in here. Oh, 100%. Harlow looking impressive right now. Right, but she didn't really go for any elimination, which might have been a mistake. Ten. Definitely a mistake there, because now we have another woman entering. Right. And that only decreases their odds. Charlie Morgan still in there from number three. Ariel Monroe still in there. She was the very first woman entered. Here comes Ellie Cat. Huge pump kick to Harlow. Whoa. Cat, my sometimes friend, sometimes foe. It depends what day you catch me on. But she's she's a cat. She's a cat. She is a cat. She's an actual cat. Whoa! Big scent on. She's really come in like a house of fire right now. Taking down Charlie Morgan. She needs to go for elimination. Right. If you're able to get someone down, you got to try to get them over the top. Honestly, you gotta pick the smallest person. But I think that was Priscilla, and now it's not going too well. But Priscilla, Priscilla took Alley Cat down and then left her to go back to Charlie Morgan. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh. Charlie Morgan landed on the steps. Oh, right And now her. she's out. Well, she did save herself. But, uh... Wait, no, she's Wait, still on the steps! What? Not quite! Charlie Morgan has not been eliminated. And I don't think Priscilla realizes that Charlie's feet did not hit the floor. No, I think she was just mad from earlier, and that's why she left Alley Cat to go over Charlie Morgan. Now Priscilla's on the outside, and she went over the top. She is in danger of elimination right now. If she gets knocked off that apron, she's out. Charlie's back in. Charlie's back in. She has saved Priscilla herself. Is not. Priscilla is taking too much time on the outside right now. Ariel Monroe, she sees her. She has an opportunity to shove her. What? Priscilla Kelly was just eliminated. I don't think Priscilla honestly remembered that she had gone over the top. No, now Ariel is taking Charlie Morgan over the top. Slow. Charlie holding on, holding on. We have on. another woman coming out. We have Slow taking her time too. And she's uh, vaping maybe? She is furiously vaping on her way to the ring. Oh man. She seems really cool. Oh man, Ariel having some strong words for Priscilla Kelly who she pie faced off the apron and eliminated. Sloan in the ring now. Who looks taller than anyone that's out there. Yeah, I don't have a, an exact height on her but it's a lot. Sloan is from Vancouver, BC. Has been wrestling for about three years. And I dig her haircut. They grow them tall up there. Huge suplex. Oh! And she just ate it. Ate a kick by Charlie Morgan. Alley Cat already taking Trying. Sloan. Trying to get her out. She needs a little bit of help. Are these two ladies gonna... Do some teamwork here, Charlie Morgan and Alley Cat trying to get it Sloan out of the ring. I mean, you might as well team up if it's going to mean eliminating someone, because that's that's one less person Absolutely. that could eliminate you. Why wouldn't you? And we don't really have any, at least at least amongst the women who are in the ring right now, no established alliances. It's really every woman Not for herself. Yet. Not yet. Right, no, no tag partners, nothing like that. Uh, Big Swole is on the apron. I didn't catch how she went outside, though. I think she might be okay. I think she's safe, and now she's rolling back under anyway. Yeah, yeah. All right, number 10, who we got? Uh, oh, my Lord. Okay. Big Mama from Rydell High. Yeah, I tried to get some information from her. And she just kind of like, she didn't want to talk to me for a while. And she then just she jumped like, on her motorcycle yeah, and left. She, she slammed me in a locker. But once I got myself out, I found out. Huge spine bustle from Big Mama. Yeah, she's just a big old biker babe from Rydell High. I wonder if she got a hickey from Pinnacle. Whoa. Big Mama eliminates Sloan right off the bat. Alley Cat, she's trying. And there goes. 
goes the alley cat. Oh. Wait. Is Ariel Monroe on the outside? She's on the outside, but she didn't go over the top. Okay, so Ariel is not eliminated. No. Big Mama taking down Harlow O'Hara. Okay. Big Mama, I think the first person who's been able to match the strength of Harlow. Oh. And there she goes. Okay, remember how we were talking about teamwork earlier? This is where Ariel and Charlie Morgan need to do a little bit of teamwork because even though she just got kicked in the face, I think she's going to be a little difficult to Whoa. look at. Springboard crossbody. Of, uh, Big Mama just eliminated so far the strongest competitor that was in the ring, Charlie so, Morgan. I could see it, but even if I couldn't see it, I could hear it. Charlie Morgan eliminated. And now Ariel is by herself, but not for long. Um, okay, so she's back. One more round. Session Mar Martina is out for the third time tonight. Again, th now, they played her music and she emerged. Does she know what's happening here? I think it's her special power. I think the music goes on and it triggers something. And no matter what happens, she just starts raving. Well, it's like an action figure. When she steps on the entrance ramp, the music is going to play. Uh, Big Mama is not having any of this. She is not from that decade. Okay. Big Mama not going down. Stunner denied. Session Moth went for that stunner and it did nothing. She lost her hat. Session Moth wants none of this. But Big Mama's not going to let her leave that easy. Was Martina even affected by that shaking rope? I mean, we saw earlier today she has special powers and special strength in her special areas. She gets another drink, she'll be okay. Uh, she doesn't seem heartbroken. She's got a beer. Number 12. Who's it got? What? 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 Lexi! This is why she wasn't returning my phone calls. I thought she was going to do commentary with us. No, no, no. She was apparently training for this. Lexi is the legends of the Eagle Club that they were hinting toward. I don't think Lexi Fife has been in a ring since Portia Perez's retirement in like 2015. Right, we've, we've seen her as, as a bit of, you know, an, an authority figure in Shimmer, but she's not been in a ring as an active competitor. And already knocked in a rest. very long time. Oh! Lexi is a vet. She's gonna have none of this. Those are some throat chops. Ariel Monroe was going to take full advantage of this and just sit back yes. and watch the action for now. Go under the rope, Ariel. Go take, go take a breather. It's fine. But she's getting into a few chops of her own now. Oh, they're double teaming Lexi. No, why don't. would you do that to a veteran? But as you were, as you were saying before, the smart move here, the only thing that makes sense to me is team up against Big Mama. Because I, I don't think it's going to be one woman that eliminates her. It might not even be two. It might not be three. Five, four, three, two, one. Three. Who's lucky number 13? Sonia Strauss. <laughs> All right, Sonia Strong from the Bronx coming in. Oh, she's going to try to take it right to Big Swole. Ooh, careful now. Don't climb those ropes too high. You might get knocked down. Right. Sometimes you get really into what you're doing, into your offense, and you forget about it. It's just it's just instinct to go up top, but you really have to be careful in a situation like this. That's what happened to Priscilla Kelly. Yeah. She slid over the top and kind of didn't realize that she was basically eliminating herself. Yes, you do not want to climb to the top in a battle royal. You will, you will likely get eliminated. Sonya Strong taking it to Big Mama. Sony Strong has been wrestling for about four years. Went oh. for a trip. Oh, Lexi. Going for that cutter. So 
Sonya's strong, though. She's down, and Big Mama is taking advantage. No! Huge splash for Big Mama. She couldn't have been eliminated. I will give it to her. I wrestled her earlier. Right? She didn't win, but I'll give it to her. She put up a strong showing. And now she has another big opportunity here in the Rise of the Contender. She went right for Ariel Monroe. Ra Grammy, look, that's smart because Ariel Monroe's been in here the longest. She's probably the easiest chance for an elimination at this point. She might even be the smallest compared to everyone. So absolutely. Right. And AQA is not that big. So you want to pick someone that's sort of your own size. AQA is a high flyer, and I learned that earlier. She's very quick, but she's going to want to be careful. Right, uh -huh. and there's only, as we've been saying, there's only so far that high flying can take you in a match like this. And right now she is uh, completely grounded. Oh, here comes Big Mama. No, Big Mama, you do not want to see no, this no, woman no. running. It could not be good. Huge hip check. Might have exploded AQA's head. Maybe I should have said that earlier. Big Mama now choking her out. You got to go for the eliminations here, though. I mean, you wear them down. It's probably easier to eliminate them. But yes, if they're on the ground, you want them up. All right, who's next? Another person we saw in Early to Rise today, oh. and another seminar discovery who's been doing Taekwondo since she was about six years old. Anytime you see someone go in the ring barefoot, you know they mean business. Huge kicks. AQA here with a second win. Lexi's just gonna slap the hell out of all of them. AQA's now working on Big Mama, but she's gonna need some help if she wants to eliminate her. Well, and one thing I saw, not just from, oh, trying to eliminate Tony Strong. Tony Strong, oh. she is out. One we thing just I talked about that. She went over the top, going for something fancy, and she got knocked off the apron. One thing I noticed about AQA, both from watching her matches and specifically from watching her with you, is it's her enthusiasm, it knows no bounds, and sometimes that can cost her. And she gets so excited about what she's doing, and I could see that failing her here. Absolutely. She, right now, she's trying to fight her way back up. She got too excited for her match earlier. She went up top, and I took advantage. If she's not smart, that could happen to her here easily. Janai Kai in the corner here. Now we've got two pair offs, and then Janai Kai on her own. Take a moment here and just recover. Oh, AQA is halfway out. She went over the top. Nope. Already slides in. Now she's going for Lexi. And we talked about how we hadn't seen any alliances. Well, I know it's not an alliance. It's a rivalry. Hyan and AQA, they have fought for years, well, for as long as AQA's been wrestling in Texas. Hyan eliminates the legend of the Eagles Club, Lexi Pye. Now it's just, just a bit dirty. And yes, you're right. Hyan and AQA are both from the Texas area. They've been feuding for as long as AQA's been wrestling. Oh! Superman punch. I got hit with that earlier. It was not fun. Oh no! Don't jump. Do not jump in a battle royal. Yet. Got her out! Oh! AQA eliminates Hyan with a Rana. Hyan gets back in the ring even though she's eliminated. Hyan is beating her down. Hyan is on her way to Marvelous soon. She's going on a three month tour to Japan. She does not want to go like this. And the thing about it is she technically can't eliminate AQA because she's no longer in the match, but she can beat her down and make her an easy target for anyone else. 
that knee might have her out. Now the ref's making Hyun get out of the ring. But again, I think the damage has been done. I think Big Mama's just happy that now she has an easy target. This is like fresh meat. And, and AQA Mama. is gone. Big Mama saw that and took full advantage. And Big Mama acting like that was some kind of accomplishment. She is extremely arrogant. But then again, I think she's used to being a dominant, dominant force. Penelope Ford won the fan poll of who the fans of Rise wanted to see back after Rise 6. Right, another eagerly anticipated addition to this. Penelope taking her time getting into the ring. Penelope, the self-proclaimed bad girl. Bad girl versus Big Mama. Penelope is extremely athletic, which we're about to see right now. Oh. Huge cutter to Big Mama. You can't pin. You can't pin in a battle royal. And she says it's just a habit. She's gonna bad, bad girl. She ain't no scientist. I, I agree, it probably would have been three, but it doesn't matter here. She got Big Mama down, but she's gonna need some help eliminating her. That's what I'm talking about, Big Swole. Do it, do it. See, she knows what's up. They have no choice but to work together right now. Right, and it's, it's, it's not even working together, it's just making your own job a little easier, but she's gotta go over the top. Even Janai Kai coming in. All the, everyone in the ring right now is working to get Big Mama out. Big Mama's resting on the middle rope. I don't think this is gonna be easy. No, so, so three women is not enough to get her out. Oh wait. Will the fourth woman help them? That's the question. Mercedes Martinez didn't turn out too well for her. But she definitely put up a strong showing. And Jen here, you know, she's taking the Penelope Ford. Tonight guy gives it right back, but so Jenna Lynn, she or Ricky Jen, whatever you want to call her, she's also a Taekwondo black belt. Right? And she's another seminar discovery. Alright, I think we're gonna see. Is this a headband of power? We saw this earlier against Mercedes Martinez. Two Taekwondo black belts about to go at it. And Janai Kai has a headband of her own. Unexpected. We got two headbands, two headband of powers. Is Janai Kai's headband as powerful as Jenna Lin? Party pooper, huh? Three, two, one. Number nine. Speaking of parties, we have the party unicorn coming out. Lady Luck right now. I have a feeling Big Mama is not going to like this. Just throwing her unicorn head, her furry coat. She means business. Coming after Penelope Ford. Ducks the kick. Whoa! Huge step up Rana. We got Lucha Laney right here. What a kick. Laney wants to party. Oh, oh. Huge blue barrel suplex. And that leaves Big 
Mama. Oh, Big Mama's about to crash this party. I can feel it. Rookie Jen, she is fighting out. A lot of strong, strong strikes from the Taekwondo black belt. Big knee by Lainey Luck. I, and meanwhile, Priscilla, I'm sorry, not even Priscilla, Priscilla's been gone. Penelope is working Ariel in the corner, which I didn't even realize oh. when that happened. There is a lot happening at once here. Now the women are starting to accumulate in the ring with less and less eliminations going on. The headband is off. I repeat, the headband is off. We have a crisis. Okay, all right. We have five women now who might be trying to eliminate Big Mama. Could this be it? possibly take it to Big Mama, that'd be my pick. Oh. Oh. Lady Luck is trying to wind up here. Oh, huge choke slam. Throwing choke slams. Now just choke slam her out of the ring. Whoa. Party is over for the party unicorn. Jenny Van Muscles grabs Janai Kai and tosses her over the top with ease. Meanwhile, Big Mama just eliminates rookie Jen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, maybe they're going to work together. This is going to be terrible for everyone involved. Oh, yeah. This, can they both win? Because that might happen. Nice walk over spear. Here comes the back handspring. from Penelope Ford. And Penelope went out through the bottom rope. So she's safe for now. Oh, Big Mama said I ain't going down. This is not going to be good for Penelope. Oh, no, no. Penelope Ford has been eliminated. Dumped her right on to Jen Lynn. The two giants are going head to head. Oh, here we go. Alex Gracia. Alex Gracia. She just got back from a three-month tour in stardom in Japan. And uh, she has her work cut out for her. I, I feel like she was so enthusiastic to get to the ring that she didn't fully take in the scene oh. until she was already there. Maybe regretting that. Hold on, we got a little bit of teamwork here. Two giants. Oh, no. No, oh no, 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 no. Gorilla press to the outside. But did Alex touch the ground is the question. Because I really can't see her from here. I think yes, it looks like it. All right, finally, the two gargantuans. But, but if they were actually her friends, they would have crowd surfed her back into the ring. I agree. Yeah, that would have been epic. Don't trust anybody. They just clap her. They don't care. And Jenna Muscles and Big Mama going right back at it. They'll team up to eliminate people. And Aaron then the row is still in this. She was the first one in this. We're now to what? Number 22 is next. Right. And Ariel Monroe, Big Swole, is still in this contest. Oh! Jenna Van Muscles showing us why she is bionic. And Ariel Monroe, really the only person who has benefited from the addition of Jenna Van Muscles to this map. Because it's given her a chance to recover. Now she needs, just needs to get Big Mama back to her feet. Trying to fight her way out. Ariel jumping on the back of Jenna Muscles. That might not be good. She's really high up in that position. Now we have the leader of uh, the new nation. Zoe Lucas here. Uh, Zoe, I don't know how that's going to go. 
She's actually doing it. I think she used. I think she used the the weight imbalance that Ariel Monroe created. Oh, absolutely, are you kidding me? To and eliminate then, Jenna Van Muscles, and then she gets clobbered. Yeah, Zoe was not going to eliminate. She was not going to pick up Jenna Van Muscles without no. that momentum. But Jenna Van Muscles was already half out, half off balance. Zoe Lucas, surprise, surprise, takes advantage of someone else's peril. Who would have thought? Oh, big swole! Can it's she do it? Going to pick up Big Mama. Can she do it? Oh! Oh! My God. oh. 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 Holy shit! Big Swole just eliminated Big Mama. I'm picking her up of all things. That is why she is called Big Swole. But she's not alone in the ring because Zoe Lucas is still here. Zoe Lucas has to be shaking in her boots right now. Oh! And Zoe Lucas doesn't have Charlie Evans and Jessica Troy here to help her out. Zoe Lucas by herself? Yeah, we're not used to do. We're not used to seeing that. Oh my god. Skilled death artist number seven. From the that? proud lineage of skilled death artists. Big Swole is not impressed right now. Who is you, Big Swole said? It is skilled death artist number seven. Uh, uh, well, okay. not already eliminated. Big Swole is not playing right now. And she's back to Zoe Lucas. Oh, hey, hey, hey! That's Charlie Evans and Jessica Troy. Team Blue Nation interfering. Can there be a DQ in a battle royal? No, uh, they're not even in this. They are. Look at they have her knee wrapped around the ring post. They're attacking the leg of Ariel Monroe right now. Of course. No. Oh. Charlie Morgan smashes Ariel's knee with a chair. Zoe Lucas just thrilled right now. We should have known they were not far behind. How foolish of us. Now, technically, technically Ariel Monroe is not eliminated from Rise of the Contender. She didn't go over the top. However, that doesn't mean that she's going to be able to continue this match. Like, someone's yeah. going to need to check on her. Honestly, I don't think she's getting back in the ring, Veda. Wow, what a scumbag. Valentina Loca, I must say, I really think she is like the most eager and optimistic competitor at Rise. Right. I'm not really sure what her accumulated ring time is here in Rise because I feel like a lot of her matches end pretty quickly. I mean, she's using her own head as a weapon. Right. Go for that. But in the short amount of time, she has become absolutely beloved here in the Eagles Club. Takes a head kick and a, uh, she's gone. Valentina's already eliminated. I mean, we did, we saw it coming a little bit, but I had high hopes, I must admit. Zoe Luke is taking a break here. She is just basking in the light. She is so proud of herself right now. She did eliminate Valentina Loca on her own, but it was really Valentina Loca's own momentum. You know, if someone was in the ring right now, they could easily eliminate her. Right. But Ariel Monroe is on the outside. Maybe one of the cameramen will do it. Maybe I'll do it. Go ahead. Are all these accounts full? Will it count? I was not invited. Uh, oh, Zoe Lucas, you are screwed. Zoe Lucas is now backing up into the so, corner. So, as we said, you never know. We didn't know exactly who was going to fill some of these spots. Shimmer OG, cheerleader Melissa, who was uh, Zoe Lucas's first match, I believe, in Rise. Oh, she knows what's coming. Uh, she comes at Melissa full force, knowing damn well that's not going to work. Like, this is probably the time that she could use Blue Nation, but I noticed that when Chile and Melissa's here, there's, they're nowhere to be found. Yeah, now suddenly they, yeah, uh, yeah. they're in the back just uh, getting a drink. Melissa already picking Zoe up. 
Zoe wiggles out. No, nope. got her again. Oh, <laughs> Melissa is going to kill you. Honestly, Zoe might be better off just jumping over the top at this point. Yeah, pull a Martina and just get yourself out of there, Zoe. She doesn't even have another wrestler in the ring right now to distract Melissa. And that's that's part of the hope when you're in a match like this is that you can take a break because somebody else is occupied. She might get a little bit of relief depending on who this next person is. Or she might be eliminated by then. Here comes Brene, another seven hour discovery. Oh, Brene going right after Chipotle to Melissa. Brene from Kansas City, Missouri. She's only been in the business for about a year and a half. So she went right after Julia and Melissa, which is brave, but maybe not the smartest. And it also prevented Zoe Lucas from being eliminated. So, I mean, lucky day for Zoe Lucas, but... Oh! And Melissa welcomes her to rise. That was ballsy. I liked it. Yeah. It didn't work out, but it definitely made an impression. Melissa shouting, who do you think you are? Oh, here we go. Whoop! Huge suplex from Melissa. Brene and Zoe are both down. Zoe's scrambling to get them away. Kind of scurrying. Oh, now she's coming up behind. Tries to take advantage. Uh, Trying to use the distraction. Oh, that was a mistake. The crowd knows it, Zoe knows it, everybody knows it. Ten, Whoa. Eight, seven, six, oh! Swing Zoe into the turnbuckle. Right, we're used to seeing that into the guardrail, but the turnbuckle works too. It still hurts. Impressive. Indy Harwell knocking Brene out of the way and going right for Chula and Melissa. It almost looks like we have two tag teams in the ring right now. Oh! Oh my All god! Right. All right, that is impressive. Andy Hartwell eliminates cheerleader Melissa. That's huge. Okay, and Zoe Lucas seems pretty happy about that development. Maybe she's hoping she can scout her or something. Going for a pinky promise? Okay, they're friends? Sure! Zoe Lucas and Indy Harwell are going to work together here. Oh, wait, that means Indy Harwell is going to do all the work. Oh! Okay, a little scissor kick from Zoe Lucas. Tag team action going on. Almost like they planned this. Right. Working together to eliminate Brene here. I mean, it's a smart thing to do, but like, what does that mean for New Whoa. Nation? Is she out? Renee is, is she on. out? Is she out? She's out. Zoe Lucas just cocky with that one. Here comes Phoebe at her light up hula hoop. Now we saw Phoebe earlier on the early to rise show as well. And she likes to dance. She's really fun. She likes to shake and her head. Honestly, hips. it's in her best interest to stay out on the outside hooping for as long as possible. Because as long as she doesn't get it in the ring, she can't get eliminated. Oh no, Phoebe, no. Now she sort of has a weapon. And Zoe looks is gonna use it. Zoe Lucas is very bad at hula hooping. Zoe Lucas is possibly the worst hula hoop we've ever seen. Ever. Andy Harwell just gave a lariat to the hula hoop, which I don't know if you noticed, but it changed the it changed to the it color changed of their color. gear. Yeah, that was weird. So we have a sentient hula hoop here, who honestly is the real star of the show. Phoebe, it, the hula hoop did go over the top rope, so yes. it was eliminated. 
Dee Dee eliminated with her hoop. The same happens to Phoebe. Phoebe, who really impressed me during early to rise, but she was no match for this, I guess, alliance question mark? This new formed alliance? Right there, look at, they're not trying to eliminate each other. And here comes Shazza McKenzie. Shazza McKenzie. Who we know is definitely not aligned with Zoe Lucas at all. Oh no, she was heading straight for Zoe. She didn't even care about Indy. Shazza is not having this. She's coming after both Zoe and Indy. Got them corner to corner. Shazza is a house of fire right now. She's gonna have that numbers game planned against her. Right, because these two are very, very definitely working together. And both of them hate Shazza McKenzie, so the odds are not in her favor. Hey, it's fun to have something in common. Oh. Cartwheeling right out of that. Oh, Andy Hartwell. I mean, she she saved Zoe Lucas. You can hear them communicating. They know what they're doing. They're working together on purpose. How on earth does Zoe Lucas get people that just follow her lead? I know, like Sue Young, I can understand. Okay, there's magic. Rosemary, I can understand. Right, right, right. There's some magic. But like Zoe Lucas, what is it about her? Do they just want to like be like her? Now they're just playing with Shazza McKenzie. Oh, that was mean. That was just cocky. Sending her off. Oh, Shazza holds on. Shazza's gonna block this. Whoa! And it was split. Eliminating Indy Hartwell. He's gone. From Shaza. It looks like Shaza might have a partner here. These are these are a long time friend. The tables have turned on Zoe Lucas. Uh, oh no! Thumbs down. What's thumbs what? down? Mean? What? I. Oh! Facebook taking out Shaza. Oh no! Just Zoe, she, did Zoe Lucas recruit another person? She saved Zoe Lucas. And Zoe Lucas looks like she knew exactly what was going to happen. Oh, this is terrible news. Facebook, not you too. Zoe Lucas taking a breather, of course, letting Facebook do all the dirty work. Throwing Shaza over the top. There goes Shaza. And eliminates her. Facebook takes off her mask. What does that mean? And Zoe Lucas couldn't be more proud. Now what? Is she going to let Facebook eliminate herself? Is she going to command her to go over the top rope? But we've seen Zoe Lucas have this strange influence over people. I mean, maybe that's part of the deal. Uh, oh. What the Look at hell? Oh my gosh, Beta. Ariel. She's trying to get back in the ring. She hasn't I, been eliminated yet. I couldn't even see her. I, I honestly, I assumed that she'd been taken to the back, but no, she was out here the whole time. Oh my gosh. And Zoe immediately targeting that injured knee. Like, she might be seriously injured. She has a knee pad off. Right, they were, they were clearly examining her knee. Honestly, I think they tried to take her to the back. I think she just refused. She doesn't want to lose this opportunity. Big Swole is as tough as they come, and I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever seen her in, in this much... Pain. This is not a side of her we're used to seeing. She is struggling. I mean, it's not a fair fight. This is just, the numbers are against her. It's not just two on one, it's two on one with a, a very, very seriously injured leg. Oh, low no. Ariel managed to eliminate Facebook. She so has no idea. 
She doesn't. She used her own momentum against her. And Zoe realizes what happened while she was being cocky, of course. Ariel struggling to stand on that injured leg. Big Swole fighting back on one foot. Luckily, Big Swole's known for her strikes. She still has both arms. Oh! Jaw block to the knee, and Ariel is down again. And in case we didn't make this clear enough, that is all the entrance. We're down to just Zoe Lucas and Ariel Monroe. That is for sure everyone. Which means that Zoe, on the one hand, needs to eliminate Ariel Monroe, but she can take her time working over the leg here. Oh, no! Oh, Zoe on the outside! Push, all Ariel has to do is push her off the apron. Oh, no, Zoe bringing Ariel to the apron as well. Whoa, whoa! Ariel struggling to stay alive right now. Both women on the apron. Both women can be eliminated right now. What a slap! Both women hanging on to that top rope. They're both in danger here. Oh, Zoe almost went down. You see one foot hanging off the apron. Zoe Lucas holding on by the fingertips here. Big Swole trying to push her off with the one leg that isn't messed up. Oh, oh, oh! Ariel catching that leg. Oh no! Throw Zoe into the splits. You just have to kick her off the apron. Come on, Ariel! Oh. of Ariel Monroe and that leg eventually gave out. And Ariel Monroe gave it absolutely everything she had and more. Ariel Monroe was literally the first person in the ring, the last one eliminated. She went the distance. She basically had to fight off two or three people at a time. And then two people who weren't even in the match. And Zoe Luke is very proud of herself for her uh, technically victory, I guess. Good job, Zoe. Good job, Zoe. You're a scumbag.